The five books that can make you rich in your 20s. So many wonderful things have happened in my life, and it's very difficult to point a single one of them that cannot be traced back to books, knowledge, or some form of learning. And that's why I speak a lot about books and why young people should take time to read. Let me tell you some personal stories. Growing up, I noticed that I'm lazy, and the reason for that isn't hidden for me. I'm lazy because I suffered rheumatism for the first 17 years of my life, so I simply didn't have any childhood that encouraged hard work or rough play or stuff like that. But at the opposite of this, I tend to achieve more things than most of my mates. How do you explain this? I mean, I'm probably the laziest person out of every man I've come in contact with, yet I seem to know how to get things done and achieve more than most people. I suspected what the secret was, but reading the biography of Albert Einstein confirmed to me that I was right. And so, I recommend that you read Einstein's biography. Here's the thing. Einstein wasn't a genius. He wasn't even like heavyweight 17 hours working guy. No, Einstein was regarded as a dullard, as a child, and he probably never had an exceptional brain. And about hard work? Well, Uncle Einstein slept 10 hours per night. That shows you how hardworking he was, right? So, what is the secret? Concentration, concentration, concentration. I grew up knowing that if I wanted to achieve something, I have to throw everything out of the window. Stay focused on such a single thing, even if I won't have the capacity to work for long hours. Reading the biography of Einstein will show you how ordinary people can achieve extraordinary successes simply by cutting off every distraction and staying focused on a single important task or goal. This will not only boost your self-esteem, but it might also help you to get rich early if becoming rich is your goal. Another story. When I was starting in the business world, I have read a few books that made me understand that the journey of building a company from scratch is a tough one, so I took my eyes off any expectations of quick success. I instead set a goal for one decade. Yes, I was willing to sacrifice 10 years of my life to try, make mistakes, and fail. So I have to become rich. So it happened that the more mistakes I made, the smarter I became. And the fewer mistakes I made, and the closer I was to my goal. I didn't know the word to what I was doing until later in my future when I read Mastery by Robert Greene. I honestly think that any young person who wants to achieve success in any area of life, including getting rich, should read Mastery, because this book will open your mind into how success is being achieved, and you'll stop listening to the noise of Get Rich Quick that's all around. The truth is, success comes in any field after you master the game. Take entrepreneurship, for example. Nobody knows how to be an entrepreneur until you become an entrepreneur for a decade. It's a long journey that's filled with several turns and snakes, and it's by confronting these obstacles you learn to outsmart them and that's mastery, which every young individual should submit themselves to, instead of looking for shortcuts. What will happen if you're willing to be a master? Well, you'll succeed faster than most people who want to succeed fast. Most of my mates who are looking for easy ways to wealth are still poor today, even though I have been able to, by God's grace, overcome poverty. They wanted it quick, and I wanted to spend the time it requires to become a master. They don't get it, but I do. If you're willing to pay the price to become a master, you can become rich and successful faster than most people who want to take a shortcut. Yet another boring story. I woke up to life getting angry about a few things. Up till today, I still get angry about those things. Wherever I go, I can't help but talk about those things. I doubt if I ever had any meaningful conversation in the last seven years that is not in any way connected about these things I'm angry about. Do you want to know? What those things are, let me keep them a secret till another video. Instead, I want to tell you what I do with the holy anger I have about these things. I spend my time trying to correct them. Most times, your anger is your money. If you can't stop being angry about something, that's probably the problem you are created to solve. Look at Elon Musk. He went around talking about green energy, space, and electric cars. He never had any meaningful conversation if he couldn't speak about any of these. And those are the things that made him extremely rich. And that is why I think you should read his biography, written by Ashley Vance.
I just finished that biography, and I think if young people read it, they might get inspiration that will push them to achieve their dreams faster than others. And another story. Sometime in the year 2007 or early 2008, I came across Think and Grow Rich. It's a popular book, so I decided to read it. Reading this book, I learned a million things, but only one thing stuck with me forever. And that is the story of a military general who wanted to wage war against a greater army. And in order to win the war, the general simply destroyed the ship, which is the only instrument he and his boys could use to escape if the battle became unbearable. This guy went on to win the battle. Most people said it was impossible to win, simply because he figured out how to make winning a do-or-die affair. When I read this story, I was a poor 21-year-old guy, and I simply decided to see poverty the way that general saw his powerful enemy. Several years after I read that book, the story still impacted my life and decisions every day, until, by God's grace, I defeated poverty. Today, I honestly think that everyone should read, think, and grow rich before they are adults. Not because of the story that changed my own life from the book, but because the book has made more people rich than almost any other book in history. The book is like beauty. It always is in the eye of the beholder. What is beautiful to me might not be beautiful to you. What changed my life in Think and Grow Rich might not make any sense to you. But since it's only a single thing you need, you'll likely find your gold therein. Then the last story. After about five years of being in the business world, my brother called me and told me something like, you told us long ago that you wanted to become a millionaire, but today you're still poor. I looked at my brother and told him, well, I'm still paying the price. What? Holy smoke! Who in the world pays the price for five years to get anything? But here's the thing. Among the books I read, when starting in the business world, was Failing Forward by John Maxwell. This book simply tells the stories of some of the greatest successes in the world and shows you how one thing united all of them, and that is massive failures. So, it happened that the faster you fail, the faster you succeed. Do you want to become rich early? Well, start failing early and keep failing fast. Try different kinds of stuff. Dare life. Don't take care. Don't protect yourself from the pains of error. Don't stay indoors. Get out and try stuff. Yes, you'll make mistakes, but the more of such mistakes and failures you experience, the closer you are to all of your dreams. Do you want to become rich in your 20s? Then you can't afford to spend all your 20s on little pieces of stuff. You have to dare really big stuff, make multiple mistakes, fail multiple times, and endure all of those pains. So, if this video makes sense to you, then subscribe to our channel.